Alrighty, Thursday, three days out of Tour de Wai Punamu. Uh, it's been six months since I've finished the Tour de Wai and haven't done a bike packing race since. Um, the Wai Punamu is 1300 k's long, I think about 24,000 metres climbing, and um, it's got some pretty vicious hiker bikes and technical riding. So, more or less the same bike and setup as the Tour de Wai, with a few changes um, specific to this route. So I'll start with what I'm wearing, the shoes here, Lake MX201 shoes. I wanted to be able to walk, hike up a hill. So I've got these carbon inserts for pedaling. I like a firm pedaling base. So I'll be able to whip those out at the bottom of the hiker bikes and just have a nice flexible shoe. Um, and then I can just whip them back in. Only takes 30 seconds and then um, I'm good to go. And these are, Pretty fast drying, it's just mesh and really wide. I have got wide feet, so they're good. Then on to what I'm wearing, POC, bib shorts, the ultra edition with the pockets on the sides. Pair that up with a long sleeve base layer, POC again of course, and this will keep me warm at night and then I keep the sun on from the day. I'll just try and keep that on most of the time. Riding top, Three pockets at the back, box socks and fingerless gloves, and also a gilet which has three zips at the back and it's got some good wind protection on the front. Onto the bag, first of all inside I've got three litres of um, water capacity, it's an evoc bladder there. And then things which I don't need regularly. Um, this is my hygiene kit. So I've got some paracetamol, ibuprofen, some antihistamine, and a few creams for rashes, etc. And a wall charger, just in case. I don't, I'm not expecting to get to any cafes or sleeping points, but that's in there if need be. In the front, I've got my uh, GoPro to film. It's just easily accessible, and I can put that in my mouth if I want to film with a sink. And zip pocket here with some essentials that I want regularly, headphones, Blistex, um, insect repellent, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, sunblock, and some cash and my card. Also in this pocket, I've got a 500ml drink bottle. And on the other side, I've got my essential piece of kit. This is a um, balaclava merino from POC, which I wear most nights. Then on to the helmet, POC, devour glasses um, with some Velcro on the inside and Velcro on the helmet. And that just keeps them from falling off. And a Phoenix head torch, once again, Velcroed on, just so I can remove it in the daytime and save the neck. All right, onto the bike. Starting with the bags, restrap bags all around. Aero race back, front and rear. Um, they got seven litres capacity. At the back, it's got most of my equipment. Uh, what have we got in here? Quick five. Down pants, my Fairly Express. Uh, my bibby, which is a black diamond with a sand fly neck. Uh, I've got some warm pot gloves, a set of underwear for sleeping and some down booties. Merino socks is the second layer, I think my feet are going to be wet for the duration of the race so it would be good to swap those out. Tea tree face wipes for an average shower. And some pot knee warmers, full length for the legs and some very waterproof gloves if things get chaotic out there hiking something like that. And on to the front, 7 litre aero bag. I have my POC signal all weather rain jacket and if it is intermittent raining I'll be able to put that in the front of my ultra vest so I don't have to go in the front of my bike. And just my main piece of warm clothing is this Hagloff synthetic down puffer. 
So the sleep system is this down jacket, my down booties, my down pants, in the bivy and on top of this mattress here. Um, it's pretty archaic but it's 116 grams as opposed to my blow up one which is about 400, 450. So I'm saving weight for the hikes, losing aerodynamic advantage but um, more worried about weight with this race. On this side of the bike you can see two 950ml bottles and so I've got three liters in the backpack, two 950s here and 500 on the front so heaps of water capacity. I've also got a pump with um, a tyre plug and I've also got a restrap bike carry harness which just unstraps just like that and then you've got two normal bag straps and they just hook into these parts of the frame here and just like that, you can chuck the bike in your back and be hiking away. You know, I've got a spare strap to keep the uh, front end straight so I don't get hit in the head by handlebars. So that's great. On to these bags. This wee nugget here has a multi tool, uh, some aqua tabs for purifying water, my spare batteries, two GoPros, one Phoenix head torch and two Axis spare batteries. And this is my toolkit. You can briefly run through this. Basically has punch repair kit, a uh, chain brake tool, a spare valve, this is a tyre lever and a chain breaker, um, a spare hanger, spare cleat and bolts, a tyre adapter, um, a spare battery for my gear shifter, chain link, one set of brake pads, and a couple of bolts which I may need if things get crazy. Also in here I've got a very small tubulino and in the long top tube bag I've got my electronics for charging. So I've got a 10,000 battery bank and a 5,000. Um, some cables here, charge my phone, my Garmin and a few other things, my heat torch etc. And I've got my uh, blip box mount here for all the gears. I've got shifters on my handlebars and two on the end of my aero bars. And running a Son Dynamo K-Lite setup. Um, so this is what I plug into to charge my power banks and I've got a rear Q flashing rear light that's hooked in there the whole time. And there's extra room for food in that one as well. And up the front, I'm running two restrap canister bags. Each of those is 1.5 litres capacity. Uh, basically just because there's huge resupply gaps in this race and that's sort of quite a feature for me. I go through a fair bit of food and stuff, so um, I really don't want to run short. So I'm loading up in the front. At the moment, I've got a titanium sport because I've got a few backcountry meals coming with me and I've just got a bunch of Rhino Power products. So I've got a handful of gels, um, a couple of mana bars from Rhino Power and also salt tab Rhino Power electrolytes there. And a few more spare bags, plastic bags to put stuff in. A Garmin Edge 530, uh, as mentioned before the K-Lite and then Son Dynamo down there. I've gone for the Icon, Maxxis Icons this time. I usually run the trusty Aspen, um, which is really fast rolling, but this time there's some pretty butty looking scree slopes and some sharp rocks. So I want to try and keep my puncture protection to the utmost. So I'm going for the Icon this time. Speed Max rubber though. Uh, gearing is, as mentioned, Axis gearing, XO1 Duralia, 34 tooth chain ring mounted to a um, power meter there as well. And the cranks, um, quite new to me, these are 165mm. But when I'm in the aero position, I want to like, I want to open up my hip flexion a little bit more um, for these ultra races. Uh, Pro Logo saddle, carbon handlebars, and that is about it. Santa Cruz oval frame. And here I've got a tube my second spare tube, but this is an actual rubber one um, so that I can keep fixing it with patches if need be. It's 
quite a hefty one. And also a kit for sewing tyres if I tear one. And also some tyre boots as well. So that's all easily accessible. And if the worst happens when I'm in a storm or something like that, I'll just have that to be easily ripped off. Shimano XT brakes for piston. Um, and that is probably about it. Anything else, let me know in the comments. Thank you.